that's it. Okay, I've just had a brief talk. I do this all the time. I was talking for about, only about five minutes actually. I was talking about the state of the world with um, the Ukraine being broken by Russians big time. Their artillery slamming them non-stop. And I was saying how like a lot of the Ukrainian men were forced to stay and fight and they're going to wipe all the men out. Well, look of it. Lots of civilians have been murdered or taken away, never to be seen again. Taken deep into Russia somewhere. 12 million did escape, maybe more. The whole cut, they've pounded the country, they've smashed it up. Literally smashed it to smithereens. Ancient buildings. Their history, their culture. They're having beautiful buildings built. They had a good infrastructure. And they were doing very, very well. Anyway, I'm not going to talk anymore about that. I'm out now for healing reasons. Um, I just mentioned it was my grandson's 18th today. None of that was recorded a minute ago. His 18th. He's doing something today, but we're having a barbecue in the week. Um, I've got a Granddaughter will be 16 in two days' time. Another one will be 19 in a month's time. Another one will be 26 in two months' time. And I've got my son. My son will be 40-something. Um, I think he'll be... Wait, 40... He could be 43. He could be 43. Um... The share, yeah, I think you will. Yeah, so I've sent cards and we've all spoken and said hello and happy birthday. But it's his birthday, but he's off out with his his mates today. He's legal now. He can. He's eighteen. He can. You know, make decisions. But they're having a barbecue at the weekend, which I tried to go to, but they forecast rain now. Anyway, where am I? I've just got off the bus at Bicknoller, and I'm making my, making my way up Bicknoller Coombe. I just said, a minute, you didn't come out because I didn't record it. I said, this is the first video, and I must, of the... 14th of June 2022 and I must try and hold the camera more steady. It's so jumpy and sway that it's not supposed to be for moving, it's a still camera. But I can't afford the Sony yet. I've got all these birthdays to cater for. And um, I really, really can't wait to get my compact Sony hand camera again. The upgrade that I want. This was just a substitute for now. I don't think I realised it was a still camera when I got it though. <coughs> anyway, not to worry. It does take good still photos. <laughs> and it would take good still videos. But to try and keep it still when your body is moving about is really hard. I've been quite disappointed with some of the videos so I'm not sharing them. I think, God, I wouldn't want to sit there, my eyes jumping around everywhere. So, that's that. I might have to do a video just of the photos to put on YouTube because the video is so jumpy, it's unbelievable. Right, what's the plan today? The plan today, which I don't know if I'll do, is to go down Smith's Coombe, walk around the base of the hills a bit on the other side and go past Wordsworth Old Fox and House and then go to Holford and then back but I'm doing the extra by doing Smith's Coombe you see so 
and I've got two hours less than I usually have. It's uh, going on for half eleven now. So, normally I'm out here by eight o'clock. It would only be like, I'm two hours less time. Two hours less time. I'm not going to do a lot of video here anyway because I videoed it before, probably with the Sony. So I just, it was just a little introductory one. So I've got to clamber up this coom, steady plod. Probably have to take the jumper off pretty soon. It's supposed to be 30 degrees by the end of the week. Like I said, I must apologise and apologise and apologise for the swaying and the jumpiness of the video. I'm awfully sorry. I am trying to hold it still, but it's impossible. It's quite a bulky camera, you see. I'm going to stop when I get, after I get across the stream. I'm going to stop now, actually. So I'm going up there. Might be some deer, we never know. And now when I was here a couple of times earlier this year, the ferns hadn't grown and I was saying they were all brown right I was saying you wait till the ferns grow we probably won't see the deer and we won't see the paths and that's what's happening look how green it is can't see any gorse yet but maybe soon I hear the trickling of the stream everyone on the 14th of June 2022 this is the first video the first it wasn't the first but the first one I forgot to play the record button. I'm messing around with the camera. Uh, I got it perfect the other day when I was on the Quantox. Then I touched something and I forgot what the setting was I had it on that made it perfect. It was the, the light and the whiteness was just good. And then I touched something. And I, I, I don't know what this has turned out. If this can turn out all white and that. Right, risking right, a small enough. video, folks. I've just climbed up that coombe. Big Nora coombe, all the way up. I've been all over it in the past. I've explored all this. Well, I've explored most of the Quantox now, put it that way, really. There's still little lanes and tracks I haven't done. There's one just here. If I'd done it, I can't remember doing it, put it that way, but I haven't... If I have, I haven't done it for a while, but I that, that's one to try out. So I reckon it'll take us another way round, either to the post, Big Nora Post, or further over near Weecombe Valley. Now right over there in the far distance, there's something white. That's Butlins. I don't know if it come out. I can't see with this camera, see? I haven't got a viewfinder. I've got a screen, but it not very good. That's Butlins Camp there. See, I'll go right in a bit more. It does focus in, but I can't keep it still. It's supposed to have a stand. Anyway, come back, come back. It's taking ages coming back. I'm going up there, heading for Big Nola Post and Smithcombe. Then, Al Fox and House to see how the monks are getting on with. Um, doing stuff to it. I don't know how long they stay. Maybe they, they look didn't look like done a lot. They might just be poor people live, pretending to be monks. I mean, who knows? Yeah, there's tracks everywhere. Like I say, I've done all these hills. I'm trying to, trying to hold the, this dragonfly, camera as steady as I can. I need some tips from people how to hold it still when it's not supposed to be a moving camera but if that's all you've got I'm trying not to make it sway from side to side I've got my elbow stuck outwards it's very uncomfortable doing this and I can't look through the viewfinder properly it hasn't got a proper viewfinder So another track, different tracks going off that 
right over there got Dowsbury Hills Fort which I did a couple months ago it's a uh, it's a Tuesday kids are at school people are at work so I have the place to myself God, I remember the early days when I used to come out here, I never really explored, the kids were small, or I was small myself, you know, a child. We mainly kept to the coombe over there. I always wanted to know where the tracks went, and it took me till I was retired to start exploring folks. I had to wait till I'd retired. Now I'm going to be heading eventually to over that way. I might not be going up to the Beacon Hill trick point now. Now the big not a post, I'll try and zoom in, but like I say, with this camera, there's no viewfinder. So you literally can't see, everything glares. But that looks like big not a post, and that's what I'm heading for. I'm heading for big not a post. It's breezy up here, and I'm glad of it. I'm glad of it. Sometimes I walk round the beacon, sometimes I climb up the beacon. Sometimes I go that way, sometimes I go that way. Today I'm going, I am following a route up there, but I'm not actually going up onto the trip point. I'm going to try and find Smithcombe. I've been up and down it before, it's very peaceful there if not a bit spooky as well because it's so isolated but these are my beautiful hills everyone Downsborough Hill Fort and down there you've got Holford Holford you've got the the Coombs Shepherd's Coombe Hodder's Coombe Holford Coombe Slaughterhouse Coombe there's loads of them and they're all very very beautiful. I never thought I would be seeing so much of these lovely hills. I, when I didn't have my van anymore I was really worried. Really worried. Over and out for now. <laughs>